Good morning, friends. It's between 9 and 9.30 a.m. here in the eastern part of the United States. There's little Tom with his nose skin up, his head skin up, between his ears is rough and behind one of his ears. He's been fighting for the prize somewhere. I just got a neighbor from, uh, I just got a message from my neighbor, Francine. She's in the hospital. She went to the doctor last week for wheezing. And uh, her message this morning says she's got col col colitis, C-O-L-I-T-I-S. Uh-uh. I pray for her. God bless her. She's, she's in her 70s. She's got things she wants to do and things she needs to do. She's got animals to take care of. And, uh, she seems to be the one doing all the work over at her place. Most of it. She's got children and they all live off somewhere else. She's got a husband, but uh, I don't know about their relationship. Uh, there's the little spider. You don't look, I don't, color don't look good through the camera. Better get over it, one coming down the road. I'm going to stop and stand here. It rained yesterday. It rained good. Everything's wet and messy and nasty. If the Lord lets me live, I'll tell you what I'm going to do this winter. I'm going to beat me a trail in there to that pond over here. <laughs> It's Mr. Grizzle's property, but I don't think he'll mind. I don't know him personally, but I know some of his relatives. Michael, he comes and visits with me, and uh, Michael fixed my porch, and he's the one who told me I could get the gladiolus that Robert was crippled, not to worry about it. He wouldn't care no ways. And anyways, There's a spider. No, it wasn't a spider. It was something else. I thought it was a spider. When it come out, it buzzed. <laughs> oh, well. The screen on my phone and the screen on my tablet... Are nasty where I handle them so much. I don't know what's in the barn this morning. I can't say that I really see an image in there. God bless the horses. That is some. That is on the top of some kind of a briar. 
or something. Well, no, it's not a briar. I don't know what it is. It took guts to do that. That's a dead frog. Lord help. Well, today we have uh, 60 days. We haven't smoked a cigarette in 60 days and uh, we don't plan on smoking any more cigarettes. Praise God, hallelujah. We've got to make an appointment and pay somebody to take us to town. 12 miles up there to Dahlonega, 12 miles back. Go to the doctor's office. They don't want to give me any more blood pressure medicine without I come in. They got to have some money. They've been writing me refills for a long time. And uh, I've got my own blood pressure cuff and uh, check it occasionally and uh, Ain't been no problem with it in a long time. But, uh, so while I'm there, I guess I'll get them to a... Uh, I'd say that's fire ants. I guess I'll get them to do uh, my lipids panel, my cholesterol, my triglycerides. But there is a big fire ants nest. I'm going to walk up here where I got the glide over the set. There's been something out through there. I would say it was a deer. My glide always came from over there. I'm looking for a clear, a clearing or a, a way in there to that pond. Right there is a little red ground. Let's see here. Getting their shoes muddy. We're going to take a chance here. Uh oh. Okay. We're coming to a dead spot here. This would be the best way in, I think, though, come this winter. I think it 
I think there's I think there's a stream that runs right down through there, and uh, ties in with the other one. Like, like, uh, where we'll, uh, we look at the snake den and the frog pond at. Yeah. There's pieces of broken white quartz in this field. I would say that's because it's been plowed. But white quartz is always a sign of a, not always, but there's some uh, broken stuff. Uh, <coughs> excuse me. Some old plastic there. Indian rocks. Quartz, quartz arrowheads. The flint, the flint, the flint arrowheads that are found in this area, the Indians traded, traded for the flint to make them. Flint's not native to uh, Georgia, North Georgia, this area. That's a story I've always been told. I've heard many people tell it. Yeah, if I had a little trail like that, running out there to that pond, we'd have a time by that pond. I don't know how much longer I'm going to continue this video, these videos I'm making because, uh, I've just got two or three loyal uh, friends, subscribers that uh, comment on, on, on them regularly. I don't know who's seeing them or watching them, how many people, or whatever. There's, uh, there's another dead frog. God help, I think it must have been killed by the lawnmower. I'll probably uh, read from the devotion that uh, Darlene sent me later today. We'll see how that goes. Well, the horses are outside. I can hear them up there, uh, Miss Weavers now. I'd hope the, I was hoping the Lord would bless me with a, a hookup with a YouTube and a, get to earn a little income from it and a, get off of a disability and get on regular Social Security as the Social Security man suggested. And uh, he said I'd be better off and he said uh, I could work and uh, he said I'd get more money and uh, I could work and earn $1,800 a month while on that Social Security, regular Social Security. But, I, but I'm not allowed to do it while uh, on Medicaid. Whatever the Lord's will is. Man's got to make an effort. I've, I've got tons of uh, videos saved to a thing called money, to a playlist called money. How people got their channel monetized and, 
and how much money they earned and how many subscribers they had. That's one of them mushrooms that pops up overnight. I ain't gonna say it's one of them, but some of them things are dangerously poison. They pop up overnight. I tried that one time. Lived over at Becky McCord's. Went up there to cut her mom and daddy's grass. And there was several in the yard, and I cut me I cut me off one. There's a pollinator in that one. I ate part of one, and then I went down to the Mexican restaurant and got me something to eat. And come back and cut a little more grass and I proceeded to get diarrhea and uh, start throwing up and uh, sitting on the commode and throwing up at the same time and had to call poison control. They took me to the hospital. I spent the night. I survived it, but, but some people have not. I think that's Miss Weaver's husband. I'm not sure. I didn't get a clear look at him. Anyways, praise God I survived. Now there are some wild mushrooms. I looked in the field in Stream Magazine years ago and was confident. It was an orange-colored fungus type thing. Grows on the side of trees and logs and stuff. They call it Shanna Torella. Anyway, so I got me some of it. Cooked it in bacon grease. It was pretty good. But you gotta know. You got to know that she'll be sick in the hospital. Or... There's some little children that eat some of that stuff, you know, because they were little children, they didn't survive. God help. Are some happy faces. I keep getting messages from Canopy that my VPN has been removed from my telephone. I've sent them emails. I've called and left messages. Anyways. It messed my phone up. I had it installed on my phone and my tablet both. And, uh, it slowed everything down. Some of the uh, places I had visited uh, wouldn't close. There's a page full of them stuck on the screen. I mean, you could go back and start something else, you know, but the, that, that particular, about four or five recent ones, they just stayed plastered to my screen wouldn't go away and there was no no evidence of the any of the other ones that I had recently uh, visited it was just holding on to them four or five something to do with uh, something to do with canopy I see the little black and white cat sitting over there too Yeah, this winter I can beat me a trail in there to that pond.
over on 136 where I grew up at, my mother's old place. That place is uh, bad for rattlesnakes and copperheads and uh, they crawl and uh, are active till uh, after Thanksgiving. Tony Arp over there, he had a, it's 90 something or 100 something under a garage he had a, off the of Sea Tick, Frank Bruce Road. Uh, they call it Rattlesnake Ridge. I know this is true. A buddy of mine went over with two 55 gallon drums full of poison and got scared to death. And Tony had to do the poisoning himself while Buddy sat in the truck with that many rattlesnakes around. You know, but when you live in that environment long enough, you sort of get used to it. I don't know where the big tree fell at yesterday. I see one up yonder that fell over and lodged and wedged in the forks of another one. This tree right here is going to fall one day. I'm surprised it didn't fell a long time ago. When it does, we'll just drag the pieces out of the way. I found a song yesterday. A little orange cat, he's up there eating the rest of Tom's cat food. Hello, orange cat. Say good morning. <laughs> Go ahead. The chickens eat that. The cats eat that. And there's a snail that comes here. And apparently he likes cat food. <laughs> oh, man. There's the little flyer again. It got plenty of water last night, yesterday. Praise God for that. Two of the chickens is missing. I seen one of them get snatched up by a red fox. It wasn't much bigger than a cat. It had a tail on it. <laughs> Pretty fluffy red tail. There's five of them right there. And there's one right there by herself. I put some old celery in the ground there. Stalk I had that I was putting in the salad. It appears it's uh, growing. Nah. I don't know what it is. There's blooms on the cantaloupe, but it's not making no fruit. And there's blooms on the watermelon there a little bit. One of them. The onion I had in there, uh, it turned to mush. It sprouted out from the onion I'd throw out from Walmart. <clears throat> Get these pieces of styrofoam up. The chickens they pack around on the beat on it. Anyway. some stuff here that I would throw away if it was mine but I've run in that run into that uh do not throw away situation mailbox back out and, uh, lean it back up against the lawnmower I guess that was done during the grass cutting section the other day anyways let's pray Father in heaven have mercy on me forgive me of my sin 
Thank you for my blessings, God. Please bless my friends and family, my neighbors, our animals. Guard us and protect us. Keep us safe and well. These people are sick. These people got afflictions. These people got infirmities. People are devil. Don't tell them any about the devil. And uh, some people don't agree, but some people are de demon possessed. God help. God help. Thank you for our blessings, God. And today we pray in Jesus Christ's name. Amen. Friends, the best thing you can do is uh, make Jesus Christ your Lord and Savior. We're running out of time. We're running out of time. God bless you, friends. Have a great day.